curtain fringe with long layers. Firstly, begin by layering your desired products. Today I'm working with Luxury Spa Oil Transformer and Oil Therapy Spray from La Biocetique Paris. Thoroughly working them into the hair, brushing through. This makes it easier also for styling and separating the hair while cutting. Then we are proceeding to create a small triangle section. This will be for our curtain fringe. This section will differ on every head depending on face shape, texture and amount of hair. I will then continue to comb it all together, directly 90 out from the head, bringing it all to the center. This keeps the edge of my triangle hair a little bit longer as it's over directed into the middle. Point cutting ensures softness. Moving behind the client now, elevating to 90 and just refining the little ends. To further slightly soften the edges, comb everything deep to the right and to the left and point cut that extra long corner that you will find. Control length with proportion to face shape. Blow dry the hair smooth and onto the face using a flat brush to ensure minimal volume. This also is a great technique and shows how versatile the fringe can be. Left side, right side, center part. For a modern finish to this layered look, we will finish the haircut on dry hair. Please proceed to smooth the hair with your flat paddle brush and blow dryer. This maximizes even root volume distribution. Also leaving the hair in a neutral state, making it easy to add more texture after the cut. Quickly establish a baseline using comb and point cutting techniques. This could be a normal point cut or a deep point cut depending on hair's texture. Remembering there is a zero degree elevation for one length haircuts and be sure to stand directly behind the client and only move directly to the side. This ensures a nice even square line. As you're working through your haircut, refining the line as you go, make sure you are controlling balance and proportion. Now we have to add some softness around the face, assessing the recession area as this changes on each client. My section is from the front hairline to the top of the ear, over directing it all forward with slight elevation and chipping off the corner. Working up the head, repeating the same process, but slightly increasing the over direction and elevation for each section, chipping away the corner as I go. This technique is to lightly soften any harsh lines around the face. Don't be afraid to really over direct your section as this achieves great softness with maximum length. Working through to the other side now, using the same size section from front hairline to the top of the ear, over directing everything forward with slight elevation and slightly chipping off the corner. Continue this process with the same section with increased slight elevation and increased slight over direction, working up the head. To complete the softening around the face and adding extra framing, we now must texturize our curtain fringe. Proceed to follow the original cutting template that we used to establish the curtain fringe, but using a combination of deep point cutting and slicing to soften the ends. Making it easier for your client to style while building character and individuality 
in your curtain friend. To unleash some of the hair's texture, we need to create some movement. This will be achieved by some basic layering, keeping the hair long and of course just taking off the corner. Working around the head using on base techniques and elevating to 90 degrees, chipping away the corner with deep point cuts. Controlling that your baseline remains full. continue to unleash and open texture in the hair by a vertical slicing technique. This can mimic a layering technique as it reduces weight where needed. Create your first section from the O-bone to the base hairline in the nape and begin freehand vertical slicing down the hair shaft to reduce weight and create texture. It's very easy for a hairdresser to get carried away so in this case less is more working up the head trying to avoid slicing areas that you've already sliced this also helps blending any layers that you have already pre-cut always and continually while working check your balance and proportion from the front and the side Add final touches by refining the perimeter. And the result? A long layered haircut, easy texture, effortless with a curtain fringe. This is now your opportunity to add some extra styling, whether it be a thermal tool to bring the haircut to life.